I take kind of like an automatic approach to it first. Like I want to just like get rid of the white. Some days I have no ideas. I'll just stand up here and I have no clue as to what's going to come up. It's called live art because I'm doing it in front of people and people get to watch it be made. this more like a jazz duo. Just remove and replace the soloist with a painter. It's always a reflection in my interpretation of the space and of what's happening at the event. You kind of can hear, kind of hear the colors like fast and furious sometimes is like the brighter colors, reds and yellows and oranges and white. The beauty of him working with pastels is that he really gets in there with his hands sometimes. You'll see he gets very dirty and he starts moving things around. That's when I get to start having a lot of fun and we get to have a lot of interactions. You could have like a rhythm that's, you know, da 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 and I will do like ba 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 ba, -ba you know, just like that. always picks up on what I'm putting down, um, but sometimes the interpretation is slightly off. That's the beauty of, 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 of humanity. The area in between us is where it all takes place. I started to see it, I was like, wow, this is kind of a, a beautiful ballet uh, between the two of us. And uh, if we can get that third member in the audience in, um, then it becomes a communal dance, which is a lot of fun. I'm a horrible dancer, but I'm pretty good with my, with my, you know, my pastel on the paper. You know, I'm constantly uh, evaluating and stepping back and taking a good look at it. I've learned how to pace myself and it's a good exercise. Telling yourself I'm gonna finish a piece in three hours and um, from start to finish. If we're really in sync with each other and the audience kind of just jumps in and, and it's easy for them to latch on to it. Okay.